Well, they've changed the way that we search. Now they're improving the way that we surf. Google has given some Bay Area households access to what's being touted as the fastest internet in the world. Kitdo put their new internet fiber to the test. This is Google Fiber, the Autobahn of the information superhighway. To get a sense of how fast it really is, watch the progress bar as it downloads a 95 megabyte high def movie trailer in about nine seconds. And CBSSF.com comes up in a blink. You feel pretty special having it? <laughs> I do, I feel very special, yes, absolutely. Christina Flynn just got Google's ultra high speed internet at her Stanford home yesterday. Stanford University is in red. Google Fiber is available for free in a few hundred lucky homes in the green area south of campus. The other lucky city to get fiber is Kansas City. It's part of a grand experiment involving as many as half a million homes to see what people might create and how it will change their lives. It has the potential to make you more efficient. Yeah, and more productive, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say so. So how fast is fast? Well, check it out. We're talking about download speeds of around 300 megabits per second and upload speeds of around 150 megabits per second. Here at my house in San Jose, we actually pay extra to get the faster internet with Comcast, and still it's coming in at 13 megabits per second, which I thought was fast until you realize that it's 1 20th the speed of Google Fiber. That same 95 megabyte movie clip takes four times as long, a sluggish 40 seconds. To give you some frame of reference, the Starbucks here in Palo Alto is averaging a download speed of about 0.33 megabits per second. That is about a thousand times slower than Google Fiber. Google promises to share what it learns with the world as users do things with fiber that we can't even begin to imagine today. In Stanford, Kitdo, CBS 5.